Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, presenting case 6 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case demonstrating combination of undergrade and retrograde techniques, as well as uh, treatment of uh, a thrombus and dissection during PCI. The patient was a 64-year-old man with uh, stable angina and previous coronary bypass that was referred for uh, a PCI of a CTO of a vein graft to obtuse marginal branch. He had a patent lima to LAD and an occluded graft to the right coronary artery. This is coronary angiography, demonstrating the importance of dual injections. There are two guides. The first guide is engaged into the left main. The second guide is engaged into the vein graft to the obtuse marginal branch. What we can appreciate with the dual injection is the presence of two CTOs. The first CTO is at the proximal circumflex and the second CTO is after the touchdown of the vein graft into the first obtuse marginal branch and there is an old wrist and nose stand in that area. We can see that as well in the LAO codal view. There are two CTOs. The first one is the proximal circumflex CTO. This has a favorable proximal cap that is tapered and well-defined. It is a short occlusion, about 10 millimeters. There is, however, a bifurcation of the distal cap with the distal circumflex as well as, as an obtuse marginal branch. The second CTO is in the first obtuse marginal branch at the point of the vein graft anastomosis. This has a blunt stump. It's uh, about uh, 20 to 30 millimeters and also has a bifurcation on the distal cap and is within a previously deployed stand. Given those characteristics, we plan to cross undergrade and retrograde and avoid the ADR, undergrade dissection reentry, because of the presence of bifurcations in both distal caps. We attempted undergrade crossing with wire escalation using a Corsair microcatheter and fortunately we were able to easily cross into the circumflex by using a filter FC guide wire. The wire is in good position as shown in this view as well as a contralateral view. However, crossing on the superior branch, namely the obtuse marginal, was much more challenging. However, we did have access retrograde, so we did retrograde crossing from the vein graft to the obtuse marginal all the way into the left main using an ultimate BROS 3 guide wire. When this is done, we want to be very careful about injuring the left main. However, in this case, we had a previous wire. The LAD was well protected from the lima and therefore we did not put an additional wire into the LAT or a guideliner to guideliner reverse card. We performed a dilation of that uh, lesion and then um, we attempted to cross into the obtuse marginal branch and we were able to do so using a Corsair microcatheter in addition with the Confianza Pro 12 guide wire which is now into the superior branch of the obtuse marginal branch. We predilated the lesion, restoring undergrade flow all the way into the first obtuse marginal branch. But we had difficulty advancing and wiring the inferior branch of the OM. Therefore, we decided to first put a stand to restore flow and then reassess. We placed a 25 by 38 millimeter stand into the obtuse marginal. Then we rewired into the distal circumflex. And then we placed a second stand into the circumflex um, all the way into the distal circumflex and that restored good undergrade flow both in the distal circumflex as well as in the obtuse marginal branch. However, we did find a filling defect immediately distal to the touchdown of the saphenous vein graft. We placed an additional stand in the left main and then we performed OCT to assess that area of filling defect. What was found is a dissection on the distal edge of the stand and then when we go into the stand, this time there was some tissue prolapse that wasn't too significant. There is still some area of dissection. However, a large thrombus was present immediately at, uh, next to the point of insertion of the saphenous vein graft. So OCT was extremely careful in clarifying the mechanism of the filling defect and combination of distal edge dissection as well as thrombus more proximal in the stand. We therefore did aspiration thrombectomy. And then to cover the distal edge dissection, we placed an additional 2.25 by 20 millimeter drag eluting stand.
we postulated the more proximal stents and then obtained a nice final result with TM3 flow both into the obtuse marginal branch as well as the distal circumflex. There is an ongoing controversy about coiling those vein grafts to minimize the competitive flow and the risk of restenosis. There may be actually filling defect in the distal part of the vein graft. The downside of doing that is if some restenosis or other problem occurred into that uh, obtuse marginal branch, then the patient, the patient might get engine or myocardial infarction. This case was done in less than three hours, 48.9 minutes of fluoro at 5.2 gray. There are several lessons from this case. The first one is that dual injection is very important for understanding the CTO. In this particular case, we had two CTOs, one more proximal with favorable characteristics that was crossed essentially with undergrade wire escalation on one limb and then retrograde for the other limb. And the other one was a little more challenging with a blunt stump that required use of a Confianza Pro 12 guide wire. The second is that we often need to combine undergrade and retrograde techniques in the same case. This is the whole premise of the hybrid algorithm. Use the techniques that do work into getting the vessel open. In this particular case, to recanalize the first CTO, we had to go undergrade and then retrograde from the obtuse marginal branch. The third lesson is that complications care and care with any PCI, including CTO PCI. In this case, we did have the formation of thrombus and um, uh, distal dissection that was treated with thrombectomy as well as implantation of an additional drug eluting stent. And that was clarified by using intravascular imaging with OCT that is excellent both for thrombus as well as for dissection. Thank you.